Hi guys, I want to make a vlog. First off, apologizing for the fact that I put up a video last Friday and there was no sound on it. And that's because it was um, my friend Orlando Bailey's radio show on Eagle Radio, like I have. And his one of his co-hosts used streams it, but we don't put audio on it, so they have to listen to the EagleRadio.org version so that way we get the ratings that we need or the numbers, I guess, not really ratings, but yeah, there was no audio because we just forgot to turn it on because we just don't film it with it on. So I apologize. I sang Killing Me Softly and I would do a version for you right now, but as you can probably hear, I'm either coming down with a really bad cold or I just have allergies because Michigan sucks, basically. Um, but I want to tell you guys about all the interesting opportunities I've gotten lately and it all happened in like one day and it's all very exciting and first off I you guys know that I've been working at a bar called Pub 13 here in Ypsilanti, Michigan and they have what's called the Dueling Pianos and if you want to check them out you can type in DuelingPianos.com I'll put a link in the sidebar over there or over there or wherever I don't know but you can check that out and they kind of asked me to join their group instead of working at the bar which is sweet because they get paid more and I'd be doing something like I love again only it's like the stuff I do at Big B only with piano and other people there's like five people on at a, at a time two, two people playing two pianos and then they switch off every hour so there's like five of them total sorry if I'm being completely confusing about it uh, but it's really cool and they found out I sing and they were like so come up and sing and so they let me sing poker face one day <laughs> and uh, <coughs> excuse me and then a few nights ago I think Thursday night I played what's up by four non blondes you guys know that it's one of my favorite songs to do and I sang and played it and they were super super impressed because I got the audience involved and they weren't expecting that they were expecting me to go up and just sing a song and just be done with it but you guys know better than that you've seen my Ustreams I'm all about audience participation if you haven't watched my Ustream videos you can go to Ustream.tv slash Aaron Elise Music and see that I don't just play songs I try to get audience involvement and talk to them and that's exactly what the Dueling Pianos do so I have a meeting on Tuesday night with the Dueling Pianos agent and possible signing of a contract will happen. Me and Al are going to go and we're going to get opinions and I may or may not sign it that night. I haven't decided yet. But I've been talking to the, the leader there, Frank, and uh, he said it's a good idea because it's good pay, good thing for college kids. I mean, it'd be at the most Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Those are the only nights they play at pub and th that would be the only location I do. So I'll update you guys when I know more. I'll definitely know more after Tuesday. And then second... I applied to be the Riff Rock Girl 2010 and I have an interview with them March 25th at 6 p.m. in Westland at Malarkey's and if you guys aren't from Detroit metro area which a lot of you aren't the Riff is 101.1 it's WRIF dot com if you want to go check it out it's a radio station of all rock music and they have a yearly rock girl to go to all their events and promote the station and she gets forty thousand dollars for the year in salary and Spex Howard scholarship which is an audio recording video school right here in Michigan and um, what was the other thing oh and she gets on air time at the riff which is like perfect for me how sweet would that be I just I don't know what I would do if I got it but on the 25th I have my interview and from there's four days of interviews from those four days they pick 32 girls and then from that point on you get more interviews so wish me luck on that too and lastly I was actually uh, found on exploretalent.com I have a profile up there and I was um, <clears throat> excuse me <coughs> contacted by a director of a short film called what is it 80 proof sunshine films oh god I don't remember now I'll put a link in the sidebar though and uh, they want me to play the lead role of Zoe in one of their short films called Friend Zone and so I think that's pretty cool 
and uh, I'm pretty pumped about that. The reading is on the 22nd or 23rd of March, and so I'm packed with stuff going on right now. <laughs> I sound so sick. I'm not as sick as I sound. I had a really hard time at work last night. I worked upstairs in the bar instead of downstairs at the pub, and it's much smokier upstairs because you guys all know that smoke rises, and so I was just miserable. <laughs> Absolutely. And I was getting allergies yesterday, and that just made it so much worse. And so it's nice here in Michigan today, unfortunately for me, because my sinuses don't like that. <sighs> but my recording session on Tuesday went fantastic. And I'm going to record, I'm going to re record, sorry, a few vocal parts. And Julian, who is actually one of the dueling pianos, he recorded it for me, Al, and Chris. Chris is the drummer. And you guys know Al, Rackmeister22. Uh, we recorded it on Tuesday, and it came out really well. The mix is off still. We didn't really do a lot of mixing. But I want to re-record some things, and I'll get that up to you guys as soon as I get it copywritten. Because I'm a little bit worried about that, so I'm going to do that. And uh, 10 feet. If you guys haven't checked that out yet, i got to get that copywritten, too, because that's mine. I've um, been writing a lot lately. Went and saw Shutter Island last weekend, which was freaking sweet. I've been on spring break this weekend, uh, this week, but God only knows because I've been working and getting homework done and relaxing. I'm trying to relax, but it doesn't really happen. And since I've been talking for six minutes and forty seconds now, I'm gonna shut up. But I think that anyway, me, Al, and Chris, and Chris's girlfriend who now lives in Florida, she's on spring break right now. She's up here. I think we're going to go try to see Alice in Wonderland tonight, but uh, if you're bored, go check out this sweet Gaga in Wonderland spoof trailer that I found uh, on YouTube. It's sweet. I'll also put a sidebar, a link in the sidebar to it, and if you want to know how I did my makeup today, as I'm noticing, it's pretty, it's pretty heavy, actually. It's actually like purple and, and bronze. But um, Pixie Woo, P-I-X-I-W-O-O, -O, it's inspired from her Marla Singer look from Fight Club, which the reason why I did it today is because I got this in the mail today. Very excited. I love the movie, and people keep telling me to read the book. And so I got this at Libris.com for $11. I just sound like a big giant product placement today, don't I? I don't mean to be, I promise. I would be rich off this video if I were. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to let you guys go. It's been about eight minutes and so tune in to my show tomorrow from five to seven on eagleradio.org and um, I'll be talking to you guys soon I'll be putting up some music videos as soon as I'm not allergic to the weather anymore and I will talk to you all later I love you all thank you for the support bye